Hi everybody, I'm Julia, and in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to deploy a Node.js application in the new Aptible dashboard using the Deploy Code tool. Aptible is a robust platform as a service solution that allows you to focus only on your coding tasks and leave everything else to them. And now their updated interface has made application deployment easier than ever. Your role is very simple. Just provide the code and behind the scenes, Aptible will take care of all the rest. From configuring the environment to identifying your application's unique requirements and managing essential environment variables. So let's get started and see how Aptible makes deploying a Node.js application a breeze. Let's go. I'm going to show you how to start from the beginning by signing up for a new account. You just put your name and then a company X and an email, this dummy email and create a password as well. Great. So now we should have, we should find verification email. After signing up, the first step we have to do is add an SSH key to authenticate with Aptible and push our Node.js code. Let me copy the command here. It's generating a public and private key pair. Now we're going to use the cat command to retrieve the public key so we can put on Aptible. And if you see here, Aptible also provides this command in case you forget the command, the cat command. So let's go here. This is our public key that we're going to put on Aptible paste it and save it. After generating our SSH key pair and before deploying our code on Aptible, we want to start the SSH agent. So let's write this command. Now we only have to add the SSH key to the SSH agent using the SSH add command. The command basically SSH add and uh, the path to your private key. So we can even verify that it was added by using the SSH add dash L command. Now that the SSH key has been added, we need to select the stack to deploy our resources. The stack determines the underlying virtualized infrastructure, providing network level isolation for our resources. We also have to give a name to the Aptible environment where our resources will reside. Here it's time to choose the type of app that we want to deploy. We can deploy some templates just to learn how to use Aptible or custom code, which is what I'm going to deploy since I'm going to deploy a node application. And before we start adding the Aptible's Git server, etc., we are going to clone the application, the code base from GitHub. So git clone. And we'll cd node. Here, I'm going to delete this Docker file to show you what Aptible does. We're also doing going to do git init, git add everything, git commit. Let's go back to Aptible. And now it's time to add Aptible's Git server. And here's where Aptible truly shines. They simplify the deployment process so much that we just need two commands to start the deployment process. So let's copy this code and paste it here. And now we're going to push the code to Aptible's scan branch. 
and let's go back here. You're going to see waiting on your Git push to continue. And now automatically scan code detected. So we're going to see the deployment process begin. Aptable will scan the code, will configure the app, pull the file system layers for the image, if there, there are any, and take all the necessary steps for our application to run. As you can see here, I deleted the Docker file, but it's totally fine. If you don't have a Docker file, they will create one for you, which is amazing. So you don't have to worry about that as well. Here you can add a new database. I already have a database on MongoDB. So I'm just going to post my environment variable here, DB connect. And this is great, especially for production environments. But if you're just testing or, you know, developing, you can create that .env file and uh, git ignore. So let's copy here. I'm going to change with my username and password. To do now we can click save and deploy oh now we can click save and deploy here we can view logs once the operation is complete this is very helpful in case something goes wrong we can go and drill down to see what went wrong here the initial configuration was successful now it's deploying the app and after our application is deployed if we want to make changes to the code base, we just have to write the commands git add, git commit, and then git push aptable main. It's that easy. Great. It was successfully deployed. We can even look at the logs. Everything was successful. And now we can expose our Node.js app to the internet. Again, Aptible does all the heavy lifting for us. We just have to select the service that requires an endpoint and watch as Aptible automatically provisions a managed endpoint. Now it's done here, done. And we can even copy this URL. And voila, we'll see we have our to do app. Very simple. We can add something like cook and edit here. If we go browse collections, we'll see all our tasks. You can see how simple and easy it is to deploy any application, especially a Node.js application. If you have your backend and a database connected, or you want to connect a new database. Now let's explore some of the features in the Aptible dashboard, the new dashboard. We can first on stacks. We can view our shared stacks or even create a new dedicated stack if you have the paid plan. Then under the environments tab, you'll find the information about your environment, including apps, databases, integrations, certificate management, activity tracking, etc. Here is our environment that we have created. In the apps tab, you can view your current apps so the name, ID, which environment it belongs to, how many services are running and an estimate of the month monthly cost for this app. We can even click and get more details like deploy, monitor the deployment, what are the endpoints for the app, all the operations that we ran and the, the logs. Configurations is the environment variables for our app and some settings, how to deploy change. And if we want to deprovision the app next the database tab provides information about databases that we create from Aptible. I already had uh, one on MongoDB, but Aptible integrates with all the main databases, MySQL, MongoDB as well, Redis etc and you'll see all the information here then we can manage our endpoints on this tab 
So the endpoint that we created, we can manage it here. If we click, we'll go back, we'll see the operations and uh, settings. And the, the deployment tab, again, we can see all our deployed apps, view status, go back to that uh, main page where we started off. And the activity page summarizes all the operations within the, the organization from the last seven days. So you can easily view, search, and even drill into logs for better insight. It's a very powerful tool for tracking what's been happening within our environment. Finally, this is my personal favorite, the security and compliance tab. You can ensure rigorous infrastructure security controls to comply with most of the regul regulatory frameworks like HIPAA, High Trust and SOC 2, because Aptable provides a unified view of all the security controls they enforce alongside configurations that you manage that impact the security of your apps, databases, and endpoints. So checks perform the zero. Let's see, all, all are zero. But as you can see, it's a great tool to help us be compliant and improve our security posture. It also provides actionable recommendations around all the control implementations that we can configure for our resources so we can improve the security of our apps and accelerate compliance with all the relevant frameworks. That's how you get started deploying a Node.js application on the new Aptable dashboard. And here are just some general settings about our plans. You can create roles, invite other members, create MFA. You can see that Aptable truly simplifies the process, allowing you to focus on your code while they take care of all the rest. I encourage you to try it out and see for yourself how powerful Aptibo is. Thank you for watching again. And if you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Bye.